Jared Brown with the Memphis Tiger Network here at the Rack on the campus of Rutgers University where the Tigers had to grind out a 64-59 win. Memphis put points on the board first after a layup from Austin Nichols started an early 12-2 run for the Tigers thanks to a big dunk from Jaron Johnson followed by threes from Johnson and Chris Crawford. Memphis continued to put points on the board with strong play from Nick King and Shaq Goodwin to build an 11-point lead with 6.34 to play in the half, up 24-13. But the Scarlet Knights wouldn't back down, mounting a comeback over the final six minutes of play, going on an 8-0 run and cutting their deficit to just 24-21 with 2.17 left. The Tigers answered with four straight points to close out the half and took a 28-21 lead into the break. In the second half, the Tigers knocked down four quick points to regain an 11-point lead and a huge slam from Shaq Goodwin quieted the crowd, but Rutgers hung in and cut the lead to just five a few minutes later, before Michael Dixon Jr. would extinguish their hopes at a run with a trade to put the Tigers up 39-31 with 13-30 to play. The teams traded buckets over the next two minutes and four more points from Dixon helped Memphis to a 51-41 lead with seven and a half left on the clock. But once again, the Scarlet Knights put together an 8-2 run over the next four minutes, cutting the lead to just four. Dixon was clutch for the Tigers with less than two minutes to play, draining a three to give Memphis an eight-point lead with 1.16 left in the clock. Rutgers managed to cut the lead to three after a deep triple from Miles Mack with four seconds left, but Memphis would hold on for their 20th win of the season, 64-59. Michael Dixon Jr. led Memphis with 15 points, while Jackson tallied 11 along with five rebounds and four assists. Austin Nichols and Shaq Goodwin added 10 apiece, while Goodwin also posted two blocks on the day. After the game, we talked to Michael Dixon Jr. and head coach Josh Passner about the game and what it means to pick up their 20th win for the 14th consecutive season. Um, yeah, I just, you know, I mean, I just saw some openings and went and made a play. You know, what I mean, I try to be aggressive, but at the same time, stay within the confines of the team. And you know, what I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of difficult sometimes. You know, what I mean playing with a lot of group of uh, good players, but you know what I mean, we find a way to do it each and every day. And uh, we've, you know what I mean, we've been winning and been successful. So, you know I mean, my teammates put me in a lot of positions to make plays and you just got to make them. And it was a good team effort. We had a couple, you know what I mean, a few ups and downs, but we won the game and that's what we came here to do. What's it mean to get 20 wins again, 14 years in a row? Um, it's great, you know what I mean, it just shows the, you know what I mean, the eliteness of our school in this program, you know what I mean, Memphis is a great, you know what I mean, basketball basketball school and uh, been winning for a long time and, you know what I mean, I'm happy to be a part of a, you know what I mean, a 20-win team and hopefully, you know what I mean, 30 wins going into the later part of the year. You know, I thought Nick gave us some good minutes offensively. He got some rebounds. He didn't. He struggled defensively guarding. Thought. Shaq was our best defender, but I had to get him out. But I thought Nick gave us some good minutes in there. Michael Dixon hit some big shots for us when we needed to. A huge three to, to open up the game. We got lax, but you got to give Rutgers credit. They played hard. They're a good basketball club. They're well coached. They are really good players. We got lax, but that's no excuse. We got to stay locked in, and we didn't stay locked in. We ground out a win. We had to find a way. It's not easy. Rutgers is a good team. They play very well at home. They're very well coached. They got good players. All I know is we got the win, we got to win 20. Let me tell you something, getting 20 wins, you don't take it for granted. It's not a birthright. It's not a birthright. It is a special thing. I love our players for doing that. They got, they got us 20. And that's my fifth straight year for 20 and 14th straight in the program. It's a beautiful thing. It's not a birthright. It's a lovely thing. God bless the United States of America. <laughs> The Tigers now head back home on Saturday to take on the Temple Isles at 8.30 at FedEx Forum. From the Rack in New Jersey, I'm Jared Brown with the Memphis Tiger Network.